Well, hi there, it's Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. And today's video is talking about Azure Static Web Apps. Now, static web apps are a relatively new feature that just recently went into general availability, so it's available to be used in a production context. Now, if you're not aware, a static web app is one that is entirely built using front-end files, which includes HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and basically any code that a browser entirely can run. That means that there's no server that is um, manipulating data, manipulating the HTML at that side, right? So there's a new, relatively new feature called Static Web Apps. And so today we're gonna take Visual Studio Code, which is free to download, it's cross-platform, and it's a, basically a trimmed down, pared down version of the uh, Visual Studio. And we're going to use visual code connecting to GitHub and deploying right for within the Visual Studio code right into Azure directly. So we're not going to touch the portal, hopefully at all. We're just going to deploy and then test. So very simple HTML app right into Azure through GitHub. So stay tuned for that. So we're going to start our adventure today on GitHub. There is a user called github.com slash static web dev. And in this account, there are a number of repositories that we can clone in order to create our static website. So if we go under repositories, we can see that it's in a number of languages, React, Vue, Angular, Svelte, Vanilla, which is just HTML file and CSS, Blazor, and a few others. Let's do the vanilla one. So we're going to go under vanilla basic. Now you can see here, there's only really a couple files, the index HTML file, which is uh, extremely simple. Let's see if I can zoom here a little bit more. It's just got a uh, title of vanilla JavaScript app and then an H1 tag. Very, very simple. And then some type of style sheet to go with that. So we're going to uh, deploy this. Now there is this button that says use this template. Now we can say we want to uh, clone this and it's gone, it's gone and pulled my account and I can call this a uh, demo vanilla app, right? So it's going to clone this to demo vanilla app. I might as well copy that for later and I'll leave this as a public and now I can say uh, create repository from template. So now it's cloning this vanilla app into my own GitHub repository. It's done that. And now we can actually clone this into our own local machine. So I'm going to copy the uh, URL and I'm going to do a git clone on this, pulling this down into my local machine. So I'm going to make directory for this. I'll call this demo vanilla app. And now I can say git clone to this particular URL. This is going to pull the files down and I can see the HTML CSS on my local. We're going to go back to uh, Visual Studio Code and we're going to open this. And so we're going to say select folder on the entire folder. Now we can see the index in HTML, index HTML in the style sheet. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to deploy this to Azure. So there's this Azure logo. It's the new Azure logo. Pretty cool. And I'm going to click on that. And I do have to sign into Azure using my account in order to connect this. So I signed in. I can go back. Now it recognizes my my two subscriptions here. Now you'll notice that uh, the Azure bar has an app service resource, 
But what it doesn't have is static web apps. There's actually a static web apps extension for Visual Studio Code. And so I'm going to have to install that extension. All right, so now we have the static web apps, uh, web apps extension. Now we can uh, create a new static web app. So there's the plus sign next to static web apps. Put this under this subscription. We have to allow. It's asking GitHub for permission. Guess I'm going to say OK. Now it's asking for a name. Uh, demo vanilla app is just as good. That's what I called it. Press enter to confirm. Next, I'm going to choose uh, one of those languages. And remember, we created this as being a HTML and CSS. There's none of these frameworks. So it's going to be called custom. And we are going to, um, we're going to say that this slash is the root of the app. Of course it is. And enter the location of the build output. Now, since it's HTML app, it's the build output is right into the local folder. There's no, um, there's no subfolders that contain the output. Now it is um, deploying. All right, so now we're going to use GitHub to push this into Azure. So we open up GitHub Actions. We can see that there's a workflow in progress. We have to wait for this to complete in order for us to browse to this website. So we can see that it took a minute and 55 seconds to deploy this back to minimizing that. And we come back to the uh, Visual Studio Code, we can actually see it says browse website. So let's just do that. And you can see it's opened up Azure static apps.net, given it a nice name, nice river. And this is my um, very static website. Now what this happening here is it's not a container. It's not a uh, compute instance visual virtual machine or app service it is a storage account that can serve HTML uh, over port 80 so that is an extremely cheap type of website so you can imagine in a storage account context that this is much cheaper than any compute because really you're just having a storage account that's exposed if we pull in the pricing page, we can confirm that there is a free plan. So free hosting for static web apps, 100 gigabytes of, of bandwidth, which is plenty for a static website on a, uh, on a non-business account. You can have custom domains, SSL. Um, it comes with, with uh, storage. So half a gigabyte storage and 250 megabytes per deployment. And that's all for free. And that's actually a pretty good deal. So, and if you need to upgrade to a production app that has an SLA, then you are going to be paying $9 per month, which is extremely cheap, right? Remember when you're looking at app service pricing. So if I go Azure app service pricing, if we're looking at the S1 type of plan, like the cheapest production plan, then you're starting at $73 a month, right? This is, um, this is supported as opposed to a dev test shared environments. So the cheapest web app is $73 
and we can get an app like this for nine dollars or for free with plenty of uh, bandwidth and storage so pretty good deal from azure static websites anyways this has been scott duffy thank you so much for tuning in i hope this sparked some interest we saw how um we could use visual studio code how we could use github we did not go to the azure portal at all for this demo and we got ourselves an html and css site working uh, in only a few minutes pretty quick please hit the like button on this video if you found this helpful subscribe to the channel i can always uh you know making videos for you and we'll be happy to take your suggestions if you have ideas on videos you'd like to see i really do appreciate you being here thanks a lot have a great